Almajari students in Katsana are finding a new lease of life by enrolling in formal schools while attending the Quranic school where they are begging to survive. For years, the Almajari system has been a controversial issue in Nigeria, with many children forced to leave their homes and families to attend Islamic schools where they are left to fend for themselves. Jamil Mabai visits their school and sends in this report. Aminu Lawal, leading his classmates in prayer to mark the end of the morning Quranic session as part of a 13-hour daily Islamic traditional schooling system called Madarasa. He was brought to this Madarasa by his father four years ago under the care of his teacher, Mujitaba. According to recent statistics, Nigeria has the highest number of out-of-school children in the world, with over 10 million children out of school. In Katsina State alone, there are over 1.5 million out-of-school children, with a significant number of them being Almajiri students. The Almajiri form of education is a traditional Islamic system of education that involves sending young boys to live with Islamic scholars to learn the Quran and the Islamic teachings. In the recent times, the system has been abused with many Almajiri students forced to beg on the streets to survive while their education suffers. But now there is a glimmer of hope for these students. An initiative was launched to integrate Almajiri students into the formal education system. Under the program, Almajiri students are enrolled in schools where they receive formal education alongside the Islamic teachings. These children are like any other children. They deserve to be properly integrated into the society. We decided on a particular school to pick and test our initiative by enrolling them. Aminu wants to learn English language so he can become a doctor, while 15-year-old Ahmad wants to work at a company. I want to learn English language and become a doctor or a soldier. I prefer to do office work in a company. What interests me the most about our school are the teachers, because they are kind and they explain things to us easily. Despite their poor background, they remain active during classes. The initiative is changing the narrative by providing these students with a safe and conducive learning environment. Begging to eat is their biggest impediment to actualizing their dream. Going to school with an empty stomach with no shoes, these children are determined to learn despite the glaring economic cost. Jamilu Mabai, reporting for Trust TV News, Kazana.